thought I'd make a quick video of how to open up a spam can of ammo. Uh, it occurred to me that a lot of people get these and maybe get one for the first time. They order one can and it doesn't come with anything with it and you're probably like, how the hell do I open the damn thing? Well, there's different ways you can do it, but the best way is to use a tool that is supplied with it, which is uh, a good reason to buy a full case because the full case will include uh, a tool to open spam cans, I always do. Okay, uh, if you don't have one of these, then you're going to have to use a, uh, you know, something like a screwdriver with a flat head, right, and take it and actually hit it with a hammer and cut the case around that way. Uh, when you have a tool, it's much easier. You can see, you may be able to see I've already started the process here of, of opening it up. And what you do is you just leverage it against the side, like the tool is uh, set up to do, and then cut down. And try not to go too far down when you do it because there's boxes of ammo in there. And uh, <clears throat> what you'll do is end up mangling those boxes if you go all the way down unnecessarily. So basically you just go around the outside, cut down, move it over a little bit, and just keep the process up all the way around until you get one end of the can opened up, and then you'll be ready to peel it back. Okay, I've uh, pretty much I've gotten to the point where I've gotten around and cut all the way around the end. Now I'm prying the lid back. As you can see here, what this does, be careful obviously this is all really sharp and will cut the crap out of you if you get your fingers on it. But uh, what you end up with is access to your ammo. And then you pull out, you know, obviously your uh, boxes one at a time. And uh, like I said, the ones around the outside, you know, they got kind of boogered up a little bit on the edge, and uh, but that's okay. Uh, what you do, I generally just put that in the little plastic baggies or something later if it got cut up too bad. But these aren't too bad, they're a little boogered, but they're still holding the ammo. So, there you have it. And what you do is just pull it out of here, and then you slide the ammo down and just keep feeding it out of this end. That's it.